For that out of control crash in Hoboken, New Jersey, that injured one man, we have new video tonight showing the aftermath, and we're hearing from an eyewitness to it all. I would report Lucy Yang live in Hoboken tonight for us. Lucy? Well, Bill, it was high drama and danger in Hoboken today as a driver caused mayhem for several blocks. Cars parked on the street, signs in cement, a pedestrian on the sidewalk. Authorities say no one and nothing were safe. This cell phone video shows strangers trying to help the pedestrian who got struck by a hit and run driver while on the sidewalk. Police say the driver of this Honda wreaked havoc on the streets and sidewalks of Hoboken, slamming into a man who was innocently standing by the stop sign at first in Hudson. Tushar Alag was at the barber shop when he heard the crash. I was like getting a haircut at the window. You could see the car just pass through and hit everything. He was fast. He was very fast. Authorities say the chaos did not stop until the driver finally crashed into this brick building across the street. It all began around 3 o'clock Tuesday afternoon, a beautiful spring day. The sidewalks packed with pedestrians. An eyewitness tells me the driver of the Honda fell asleep at the wheel here at the corner of First and Bloomfield. There was honking, then someone tapped on his window and he took off. Authorities say that's when he hit another car and kept on going. At some point, police report the driver jumped the curb and began speeding down the sidewalk, knocking down signs which damaged parked cars before striking the man. There's always hundreds of people walking on each block. This is a very congested area. It's, it's amazing that more pedestrians were not struck, especially at the speed that he was driving at. The police chief tells me they were not chasing the Honda at the time, but their headquarters is only half a block from the crash site. They arrested the driver immediately and raced the pedestrian to Jersey City Medical Center. We saw the person on the ground. He was all bloody. We were trying to help him. Everyone was screaming 911. Now, we just got an interview with Louis Salgada. He is the motorist involved in the first accident with the Honda. He tells us he was left shaken. Then people tell me that he fell asleep at the wheel of the car um, in the middle of the block. So, so people were honking to wake him up to, to, so the car would move. But, but he was, like, knocked out, apparently. Now, as for the driver now under arrest, it's not clear if he was impaired in any way. We're told county officials should have test results by tomorrow. As for the pedestrian, we're told he is expected to survive.